Bubbly Steve is available for pre-order at shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. You've got less than a month to pre-order this 15-inch plushie. Check them out. And there it is. There it is. Uh, we talked about this before. OnlyFans is now officially barring its sexually explicit videos. That works so great for Tumblr. Uh, yeah, right? It did. Uh, sexually explicit videos are going to be banned beginning in October. Uh, we knew this was happening. It was rumored. I, 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 I didn't know there was anything on OnlyFans other than more explicit kind of material i don't go to only fans but I, I always knew it was kind of like you know i always yeah i've actually never been there but i just think you know dirty patreon that's what uh -huh. it is everybody jokes about you know all these twitch streamers and whatever going to only fans and uh doing doing lewd stuff and getting paid for it and and now they're they're getting rid of that so i'm like what do you have left what are you trying to do and really i think this comes down to as i understand it venture capital they want an infusion of venture capital. And yeah, while porn was good enough to get people in the door and get your numbers bumped up, uh, now venture capitalists are like, yeah, we really, really, really aren't comfortable bankrolling this kind of content. That's okay, somebody else will do it, I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure, uh, there's always a market for that. So before we get into it any further, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 231,000 subs. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the support. The only reason we're covering this is because it, it deals with, uh, I guess, what they call the creator economy. Mm -hmm. People getting paid for their work. And I'm not going to throw shade at people who do this kind of work. Yeah, that's what they want to do, and people are willing to pay for it. You know, I'm, I don't do it. It doesn't hurt me if they do. Right. If you are, if you are a, a consenting adult, and uh, you want to charge other consenting adults for that kind of stuff and it's not illegal, uh, whatever. Not my mm -hmm. thing, but whatever. Um, that being said, you know, this platform was built on that kind of content and now they're uh, pulling the, the bearskin rug out from underneath everybody's bare ass. Um, <laughs> no, you're still allowed to put nudes up. You're still allowed to do everything. Tasteful nudes. Yeah, tasteful, tasteful. Tasteful nudes. Testful nudes. Testful, Testful nudes, nudes, that little sample you get before you have to pay. I'm going to give you, I'm not giving you. a quarter of a nip. <laughs> here's a quarter of a nip. If you want more, uh, you're going to have to throw a couple of bucks my way. And you pay for it at some guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, people, you know, whatever. People are into that. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're banning it as uh, sexually explicit videos. Videos as of October. I think it's going to go, I think it's going to go deeper than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're eventually going to purge most of that kind of content because, again, this came down, as I understand, it came down to venture capitals. Uh, venture how deep is it going to yeah. go? <laughs> I don't know. How, how much are you willing to pay? Um, how much are you willing to pay? So, yeah. Uh, you know, in the, bean. The, <laughs> the closest I'm sorry, thing, I'm tired. the closest thing I can think of you know, to, to this situation is Tumblr when Tumblr banned adult content. That's the only thing I could think of too. And uh, <laughs> it killed Tumblr. It did. Tumblr sold for over a billion dollars and then WordPress bought it for 3 million bucks. Like an individual could cut a check and buy, buy Tumblr. That's mm -hmm. how devalued the platform was because everybody left. And thank you so much. All those crazy people went to Twitter. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for that. But uh, yeah, this is their brand. Their brand literally is porn, and now they're they're changing it. So um, this is coming from the information. Who wins as OnlyFans sheds its porn past? <laughs> um, it was one of the startups that became synonymous with the rise of the creator economy it last did year. Rise. <laughs> yes, it did. Anyway, did it grew to a $383 million revenue company on subscriptions and tips that went directly to performers who were <laughs> largely producing sexually explicit content. So it's huge news that's getting out of the business it's that made huge. it huge. Did they know what they were doing when they wrote this? Got some juicy news for you. <laughs> uh, it, it was the rise of the creative comic. I mean, as it grew... On, now it's huge! On Thursday, the UK startup said it would prohibit users from posting any sexually explicit content starting October 1st. I thought it was just videos. Uh, nudity and photos... Oh, here we go. Nudity yeah, and nudity, photos yeah. and videos will still be allowed if it's consistent with the company's policy. So, yeah, yeah, you can do nudes, but you can't But do they don't say how it differed. Representative didn't respond to the question on how the two differ. One, 
One's an innie and one's an Audi. I was going to say, no, one one is where you're just standing there. The other one's where you're, you know, having people help you or you're Taste, helping yourself. <laughs> tasteful nudes. Tasteful nudes. As long as you're not doing anything like that. If you're just sitting in a chair, that's fine. Where's the other article you had? As long as you aren't, as long as you aren't, where is it at? As long as you aren't doing that, you're good. Tasteful. Tasteful nudes. <laughs> um, that's what, what you're allowed to do. People aren't going to pay for that. <laughs> They're not going to pay for that. The about face seems to stem from difficulties a privately owned company has faced with financial institutions because of the explicit videos. The statement only fans said the changes would help it comply with the requests of our banking partners and payout providers. Probably PayPal. PayPal, Stripe. Uh, this is what happened with Patreon, too, where you know there were some issues with uh, uh, anime-style artwork. But here's the thing. This ha this, someone needs to start a payment processing company that deals with that. Yeah. Um, PayPig. Pig. I was just like, PayPig.com. You just take your card down to the club, and girls have the, you know, they, they have, between their boobs or their butt, they can just have something installed to swipe your card. You, you, <laughs> you <laughs> could. do. I'm not going to judge. You could use certain parts of the body as a card swipe mechanism. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, it would be easy for everyone. And like implants are a thing now. People are doing these bionic implants. Like, you yeah, actually like could you could get a. Scan it with your arm or something. I was thinking other parts. You could have a, a card reader installed <laughs> in your hoo-ha. Um, you know, I was being nice. Because, you know, everybody's... After I said it, but he's in the cracks. Because <laughs> people, are, people are, you know, installing chips and shit in their body now. They are. You know, so why not? Why can't you put a card reader in your hoo-ha? <laughs> well, I think there's lots of reasons why you shouldn't. But anyway, uh, and it, it's don't do that. Probably not sanitary. But don't do that. Where's the chip reader go? Just, just don't. Okay, OnlyFans has struggled to find outside investors. That's what this is about. Yeah, this is about money. Money, money. But they're not going to make any this way. Uh, last year, OnlyFans CEO Tim Stokely, <laughs> I thought it was Strokely, Tim Strokely, told the information that raising money was not something we're looking to do at the moment. But in reality, outside investors have been scared off by the adult content focus. Uh, it's been reported Thursday. That That's despite what seems like well, an otherwise thriving, thriving business. Here's your problem. Here's your problem. Um, you ask anyone what OnlyFans is and what the brand represents, and what are they going to tell you? Porn. So, I mean, you cannot separate the two at this time. You got to just finish. <laughs> um, the startup's revenue is expected to rise to $2.5 billion in 2022, <laughs> up from $1.2 billion projected this year. We've been tracking a number of startups that borrowed from the OnlyFans model by launching services per for performers to connect with fans in exchange for cut of their subscriptions and tips. These have limited their content to safer work photos, women in bikinis, not naked, enabling the apps to fall within the policies of mobile app stores. So basically and, they're gonna try to copy those people. Yeah. But it's um, a little too late. You've already you've already let the genie out of the bottle. Some other things out of some other <laughs> yeah. The latter prevents funds, which are often backed by large pensions and university endowments from investing in activities like porn. So yeah, venture capital, uh, cannabis, liquor, sometimes sex related technology. Uh, the abrupt move by OnlyFans shows the uh, intuitions of Fangage or FanHouse, co-founded by a former OnlyFans star, to focus on safe-for-work content were sound. But it also means these startups face a much larger competitor that wants to dominate their market. <laughs> Come wants on, to baby, step right I on their dominate face. Dominate your market. Wants to step on their face with high heels. The retreat also represents an opportunity for services still focused on adult content to gain a larger share, such as AVN stars are unlocked. What's with the whole, like, I, keyhole thing? You could see some OnlyFans creators jumping <laughs> ship to those alternatives. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's... It's blah, 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 money. But they're apparently not making as much, because if they were making as much bank off of porn... As you would think that, that they wouldn't need to go to venture capitalists, you know, they wouldn't. So they just want to, they want to go, they want to look like they're an actual, you know, what's what I'm looking for? Like, legit? Legit, yeah, legit company. Legit, a legit company. We've gone legit like the mob. Like, we've gone clean. Yeah. Um, but, you it know. It really is just a pizza parlor. But honest. here's the thing. It's like, I, I, like I said, ask anyone what OnlyFans is and they're going to tell you exactly what they, you know, what we all think it is. In short, OnlyFans has a porn problem. No kidding. It's addicted to porn. It can't stop touching itself. Um, <laughs> but nobody else wants to touch it. 
that's the problem. OnlyFans can't stop, but nobody else wants to touch OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, no one, and the thing is, people are, are, are doing it from the safety of their own studios or home. So it's not like, you know, it could be a lot worse. Well, okay. So since we're going to go there. Um, yeah, there was an article out there that OnlyFans ban on that kind of content could actually endanger people's lives because people are going to hit the streets again. Mm -hmm. And bad things happen to people sometimes who hit the streets. So also, I, I was thinking that because I'm just like, well, at least this way, like, no, there's no actual contact unless you get some weird, crazy, you know, stalker person or something. There's no uh, actual contact, so it's safer for everyone the whole way around. More expensive for some people, um, but yeah, yeah. So I mean, look, I, I uh, somebody's look at the look at the logo. That just says porn. I'm sorry. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just, let's, let's just be honest here. They knew what they were doing. Look, they knew what they were doing when they started the site. And then they're like, oh, crap. You know, I. It didn't not... make as much money as I thought we would get. Right, right. So let's go get more money. And it's going to, it's going to wind it's gonna up. It's going to go Tumblr. Like, it's going to go Tumblr. Uh, for and sure. And then so they also start one with that, another one. And they'll go there. And in a year or two, they'll decide they want venture capital. And it'll go down the same way as. He go down and everything else. The trick is, and this is kind of the same with uh, just a cautionary tale. And we, we talk about this with, uh, we talked about it with Rooster Teeth and stuff too. You know, this is why you have to create a sustainable business model. If you're fishing for venture capital or you're fishing for a s cat fishing. No, you're fishing, you're fishing for people to buy you out or whatever. You don't own your own shit. And this kind of stuff is going to happen. We saw Rooster Teeth, you know, when they got bought out by full screen, that's when the declines, because they were doing fine on their own. And then they're like, hey, let's go, you know, get, let's buy, let somebody buy us and it's going to be great. We're going to have more money and get to do more. And, and here we are, you know, Rooster Teeth has been declining by degrees mm -hmm. for a number of years. The scandals definitely don't help, but you know, um, they were declining before that. And then same with venture capital, Patreon, and all that other stuff too. They're running the same problem. Patreon is still not profitable. Patreon is not profitable. Uh, they're hoping to be profitable eventually. It's not going to be. It's I mean, they keep be. chasing off their potential customer base. Yeah, and so, people yeah. don't trust the platform now because they'll throw you off for wrong politics. They'll throw you off for drawing cartoons. They'll throw you off for things you cartoons. don't even know about. Weren't they the ones that wanted to look in your drives? Like yeah. Tumblr. No, that was that was Patreon. Patreon was, uh, there was an anime style artist and they wanted to check out their drive to see what they had on their Google Drive. And they're like, basically like, you don't have any right to that. And they're like, the hell we don't, you know, we're bankrolling your shit. And it was, yeah, it was not a good, yeah, not I a good situation. I couldn't remember which one that was, so. Anyway, gonna wrap this one up. <laughs> yes. All right, please, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.